My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Renat Explorers International Society, the World of Explorer expansion. Uh, patch 21 is currently live, so there's four new items. The Cork Hat, Boomerang, Biscuit Box, and History Book. Uh, apparently all of which are available in Sydney. Uh, there are two new small events in Transylvania, and Agatha's crew story now has an alternative, more dramatic ending. Now, her crew story is everyone gets mad drunk. So I'm not exactly certain uh, how it can have a more dramatic ending. Maybe one of the explorers gets a hangover? I have no clue, to be entirely honest. I can, in fact, I actually believe that hangover is already a, a part of that story. You lose study tokens thereafter. Hmm. Anyhow, let's have a look through our collection, because of course we are still going through this. That's right, I was just supposed to make a super aggressive crew. When I think super aggressive crew, I think, uh, I, I think aggressive gold, so that you can get a lot of money. But when I think aggressive gold and getting to the Yeti, I think about a run that's actually going to need a lot of supplies. And you can get a lot of supplies in a few different ways, but not through gold. You can only get it through status or research. So I think we get the status. First you get the status. Then you get the money. Then you get the supplies. Then you get the aggressive photo of the Yeti. So if we're going aggressive status, let's have a look at the people that we can take. Plus five status from collect. That's actually quite significant considering that a, uh, a collect token by itself, sorry, a collect token, a status token by itself by base only actually gives you one. Uh, no, one. Sorry, it gives you 10 to 15 status. So it's a third of, uh, between a half and a third of a status token. Uh, I do like the extra supplies. I definitely do like the extra supplies, but I probably wouldn't even want to enact Vow of Peace, and neither Field Research nor Ultimate Athlete are going to be powerful for me. Um, he is quite physically aggressive. I mean, I could have easily a worse athlete. We'll keep Yvonne in mind. That said, oh baby, I only just remembered that Bia Hecaton is someone I haven't had a run with in quite some time. If I'm going to be resolving aggressive, why not resolve aggressive and get plus 10 campaign and a strength buff to Bia every single time? I can see this being a quite good idea for me. In the areas that I would have to go on an aggressive run, I typically have more athlete resolutions than tactician and quick thinker resolutions. Especially considering I can get Quick Thinker so easily. It comes from Hatis. And Hatis is definitely someone I'd want, him to, to want to put in a crew like this. Just for the fact that she gets Piercing Shot on her second, like her first level. And then has... Where's the double hit? Does she not have double hit? Oh, wow. She doesn't have double hit. That just means that Harry's way better. Because he gets an extra attack on his normal attack. Which is insane in how huge that is for modifying his combat viability orphan child we can get plus one to two status on collect that'd be really cool to have that and uh Dolores garcia who has wrestling star and also adds status to your collect token every single time she succeeds and then he just succeeds the rogue beguiler spins and you end up with a collect token that gets you a million status I'm really interested in doing that at some point. Not now. <laughs> Mind you, not now. So, we have Bia. Bia has no real defenses. But she is a really good attacker. That's quite good speech. We have a ranger in Harry. What I want is like an up-close armor tank. Not a dodge tank. An armor tank. Right? Right? Your armor is actually quite good. I don't know why it says feeble defenses. 27 is actually pretty high armor. And that's not even bad grit. Your speech defense leaves a little to be desired, I'll be entirely honest. It's worth noting that uh, Bia does have one problem in her triple strike. The triple strike attracts twice 
and three times if the target is terrified, which means that we probably want another one of our crew members to actually inflict terrify. And currently the only crew member that can inflict terrify is Bia. So I could easily see that being a reason to take someone along the lines of Agatha, perhaps, who has a terrifying inbuilt. Uh, she doesn't really stack well, considering she would go all archaeologist and no tactician. I do want an engineer, because again, the aggressive areas are going to be more important for an engineer to be on. So that pulls me more towards Professor Proskuryakova, who has terrify, naturalist, engineer, and strike of fear, which also is a terrify. Is, uh, is she one of the characters that can actually use experimentation to lower... No, okay. Her experimentation only does damage, whereas Earl's experimentation actually also adds an armor debuff. It's worth noting that Enrage is really good to have in this party, but I already have it on Harry, and I don't need it on two people. It'd be nice to have someone just healing in the background and stuff like that, but we're not really going to be able to afford that. Like, could I find defensiveness anywhere in here and actually succeed with that? Defensiveness would be, like, Kwame, pretty much. And that would be courtesy of Cheer and just his Excite. I really can't actually afford to do that. I actually just need to beat the shit out of my opponents before they can beat the shit out of me. But if but if I don't kick his ass, he's gonna come in here and kick my ass. That kind of uh kind of reasoning. Amelia is a fun choice to actually consider. Just for the fact that Tranquility is an amazing uh group heal, and then Amnesia Shot is also a debuff. But I think ultimately it is directly between Anna and Agatha, and I think it, it just has to be Anna. Because Anna is also going to benefit when I increase her attack, her experimentation is going to get more powerful, whereas that usually does not happen. I never increase Anna's attack because she's always just there. Usually because she's the captain and I use her captain ability. But now I might actually be able to make some use of her as a character. It's also worth noting that having Strike of Fear is going to severely decrease our need for healing. Because I can just take two members out of the fight immediately, focus on everyone else, and then come back to them later. Especially if BR and Harry are hitting as hard as I possibly can get them to. We'll be in a position where that's actually powerful enough to break one big fight up into two smaller fights. And the bigger fight is greater than the sum of its parts, right? So the smaller fights individually aren't half as hard as the large fight. They're way less, way easier, in fact. If we're going for campaign, obviously, I mean, it's it's not even a competition. It's not even a contest. It's Viking Landing. The only substitution I would make is I kind of want to take Yvonne, but I'm not taking two athletes. Sorry, two fighters. Okay. We're definitely going to want early investment in armor and things like this. Usually I'd want to go early uh, offensive equipment. But the old axiom holds. Dead characters do no damage. <laughs> if they're not alive... They're going to have a hard time actually dealing damage. Goody hunt. Wee. Uh, sure, defend ourselves. I only need to revol uh, resolve rather the boss fights aggressive, but a few of these will be available to resolve aggressive as well. Uh, DBSV, DBSV, no, okay. If, if my first attack is devious... And it will be. Then I'm going to get the friendly bonus. And that means that your impress will actually take someone out. So that was the only way in which I could guarantee that I'd take out two people in the first round. 
And that's actually relatively important because if both of them turned around and hit Harry, the two remaining people, if I hadn't taken two people out, there'd be two remaining people. Uh, if I hadn't taken two people out and they both turned around and hit Harry, they actually had a chance to take him out. Beautiful. Quite easily done. Okay. Uh, you know what? I haven't looked this one up in a very long time. I really ought to. <sighs> I usually just go with my gut instinct on this one, and we all know how flawed that is. Uh, Goody Hunt. Okay, so Celtic Amulet is the Celtic Leaf. It has one Insight, 25 Renown, and two Celtic Resolve. Mm, whatever. I mean, it's like, eh. What else have we got here? Okay, I'm only seeing the Celtic Amulet so far. Goody hunt, goody hunt, goody hunts. Where is it saying this? It's not even showing it anywhere. Where is goody hunt? Oh, there we are. There's the second one. Uh, it's the Nordic bracelet, and it's the exact same. So Nordic bracelet and the brooch. No, the bracelet and the amulet are the same. So what's the brooch? This is the final thing that I need to know. The brooch is two Viking and one unique. So the answer that is correct here is always go for the brooch. It's only a 75% chance to actually get the brooch, but it's always the correct option. In the same way that the previous, the previous run that I did had like a Stegosaurus skull, I think it was, that is always the correct option. It's kind of a shame that there's, like, a strictly correct option like that, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, storytelling is going to have to be done by Harry. It's actually really good. He needs to be a beguiler and a high-level rogue as well, so this is quite valuable to me. All right, Bjorn. 57's a reasonable chance. Eh, uh, Whatever. Uh, we will see what we can do here. Quick thinker, quick thinker, quick thinker. Let me have a quick think about this. Yes, I want one level of it early. I don't know why I want one level of it early, but I'm pretty certain I do. Yeah, our pathing is all fucked up here. Oh, well. I'm just going to lean into it. I'll have a bunch of hunger penalties here, but it's okay. I think I end up just taking Professor Proskuriakova, making everyone angry at one another. Just for the attack bonuses. Yeah. Either of these could be targeted and I'd be completely fine with it. I think I'll have my Ranger, because he actually has an AoE as well. I'll be stern. Boring. Please don't zap me. And we get a Discovery. So this is just to get our science off to an early start. I was really hoping to get Underdog, so Harry Walker's story begun there, but that was not available. Ooh, no, that's speech power I'm getting. I thought I was going to get attack power as a result of that. There's... One situation where we actually get a bonus from the Quick Thinker. Come on. Eh, we got the bracelet, unfortunately. Take the campaign, though. So we should have gotten the brooch. Which is correct. Oh, well. Got screwed on a 25% chance. That'll happen more than enough times, don't worry. Uh, negotiate for the best deal. Well, this is never going to work. See? 36% chance. Happens all the time. Never doubted it for a second. You can't prove it. <laughs> uh, compliment their efforts. And Harry. Uh, you know what? Beguiler will become important later. This is an investment in the future. More than anything else. Some aggressive looking men, but we are... Tactically prepared.
Okay, aggression v aggression makes devious better, right? I, I believe this is correct. No, 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 you stay over here and take this guy out. Yeah, devious is better right now. Which means that I imagine this would single shot. I mean, it's still very likely to single... Uh, hmm, excuse me? <laughs> what was that? With the plus 25%. There, that's why I didn't want to lead two people up as well. <sighs> I shouldn't have rolled for that chance. That's exactly what I said earlier as well. I said exactly that that kind of situation could arise. See how I didn't have the full bar? on my predicted damage, but I still killed him. Usually it does a little more than it tells you it does. Which is why I thought I was going to take that guy out with the terrified shot. Oh uh, well, thankfully this run doesn't actually run on resolve, so... We can afford to kind of screw up a bunch there. We'll take the secret, because I need diverse perks. That's, by the way, why I wanted this to be a status run, because I need diverse perks, so I'm going to need to hire a bunch of Entourage who give me diverse perks. Alright, onwards. Explain this is your treasure. Well, at least we got Tommy. This is the perfect aggressive resolve. Could not really ask for a better group to be aggressive resolving against. You've got decent armor. Oh, you do not have decent armor. Your armor has been taken away from you. Ooh, boy. Oh my god, they're so lined up! And there's no spot where I can actually hit many of them. Oh, this is tragedy. Da -da 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 tragedy. Can I, can I get... Can I get them both? On. It's like a pixel in it. Eh, probably not. Okay, this is just to cut Tommy off. Uh, I, I thought the green terrain to his south was rough terrain. So I thought there was no way he was getting through. That's why I said to cut him off, because I thought it was going to actually prevent his movement. <laughs> uh, you know what? That wasn't even a great first island. We can redo that. We can build it better and stronger. I don't want to start another episode. Uh, like, I don't want to scrap this episode and just start another episode and just... Ooh, what, how am I going to justify this uh, group that I've chosen? I've already told you all the strat behind this. Now I just need to execute it without being a fucking moron. I'm not oft to swear in that way at myself, but uh, good lord, I'm dull today. D dull like a knife. Not dull like a metal without sheen, more ineffectual like a dull knife. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll actually get a better traversal on the first island as well. Fucking finally. Whee! Oh, bad deal. That's a secret right there. Uh, yeah, no, we have the tactician. Freya? Hey! Plus two supplies whenever a level four Beguilus succeeds on a Beguilus spin. That's stupidly powerful. Oh, fuck off. Oh, wow. <laughs> the first one I'm going to take is actually to resolve. That is so shit. 
Oh, I'm really sad about that. That's the worst thing that I could have had to take early. Uh, sure. Have some jambon with uh, goat's cheese. Alright. Please, storyteller. Uh, no, excavation is best done by Anna. Because she has high speech defense and is a scientist, so it pairs perfectly with her. We know that the earliest the food can be is here, whereas it could also be here. So best case scenario, it's right here, so I do want to move up in this direction. Excellent. Excellent. It's nice when things turn out correctly. So now that we've got all of this resolved, I can probably afford to... Uh, yep, that'll do. Then you come down here and try and... Uh, if you stand on this terrain, you'll still be fine. Beautiful. Now that we've got all this resolve, I can afford to fuck up. Yay! My favorite thing to do. Alright, just move as far as you can. This fight was never going anywhere, so I'm fine to pretty much auto-resolve it. Okay, lost some more armor. It's going to be difficult if we don't get Tommy at the end of the island, though. <sighs> so here's our first Beguiler level. Now I need to become a level 4 Beguiler, so storytelling. I'll probably have to pick up the uh, Incredible Rose, so that's... So storytelling from level up, beautiful smile and seduction from the rose, and I think I get sense of humor as my next, right? Yes. So that's the four. That's the four right there. It does mean I get no more levels of rogue at all. That could be a problem. Uh, whew. Well, this guy can't get all the way up here anyway, so I'm actually just going to go all the way up here. Oh, I must be missing speech attack on one of my characters. Yeah, your speech attack has been lowered by 35%. I was expecting him to be able to knock one of them out of the park. But, as you might imagine, that did not occur. Beautiful. No aggressive resolutions on the island so far. Let's see if we get Tommy as our boss. Uh, yeah. Engineer, definitely. Oh, right. Whoops. Forgot to level her up. You'll be taking... Quick thinker. Thankfully, I didn't walk into the spot with the... What do you call them? Sheep. It's an okay island so far. The only reason I don't want to restart after having to take Resolve as my first campfire story is because I got Freya's Spear, which is actually really encouraging. Hey! See, I've resolved aggressive zero times, and I still have Tommy as my boss. Oh, <laughs> this would be so good for party time. <laughs> Uh, even when I'm not playing with that character, that's all I think about. Gosh, if I could just stand here. Yeah, well. I can't have Harry do that. It's fun, but it's not good. So you can stand there. You 
this then. The, this is correct because you actually get armor bonuses for standing where you're currently standing, although you've got negative 35 armor, but then you get plus 10 armor for standing in difficult terrain, so... <laughs> it doesn't really balance itself out, does it? That's uh, quite a fumble. Yeah, you're probably going to have to hold on to that hit as well. Let's try and make sure that her mood doesn't go down. Thankfully, it looks like they're going to block one another off now. Fuck. This is not good. Um, okay. Let's go with the option of thinning out the crowd and trying to block as much as possible. This isn't going to increase my aggro at all. So I pretty much just have to try and draw hits to Ana. This isn't going to work at all. Okay, that one worked. Bop bow. It's exactly the one that was going to fail. The worst thing about this is now I don't even get the benefit of the actual resolve I was trying to get. Dang it. <sighs> okay. Terrified to lower his attack. You move further up and just keep peppering in damage. He hasn't got enough movement to get around to Harry anyway. Well, there we go. Our aggressive resolution. <laughs> Only cost us one resolve. Oh, yeah. Take my praise. Good lord. I've entirely forgotten what I do here as well. Uh, where are we even? This isn't the Celtic Isle. What's it called? Starter Island. Celtic Code. No, Viking Landing. No, we must be in the other one. No, Saxon Island is not where I am. It's Viking Landing that I'm in. So, if I'm in the Viking Landing, a landmark that the locals might recognize gets me the ability to get a friendly bonus. I don't want that. A... None of the rest of these are really good for me. Oh, no, no, no. A treasure buried deep underground. I need this. The Ulf Belt Sword is a huge bonus for aggressive teams. 75, come on. Uh, I could have been two status. Right? Yeah, two campaign if you resolve aggressive, but instead it's this. Ah, well. I actually probably want the Collect. Because it's status and then money and then research in order of priority, first to third. It's not the worst first island I've ever done, but it's not the best. We did get a B tier and an A tier, which is kind of good to start. Elf Belt is pretty much what we would have wanted. Freya's, I probably would have taken the Everyone Gains Beguiler Seduction. But this will be good too. It's not going to be good early, but it will be good in general. And it might help alleviate some of my concerns with uh, supply resources. I don't know if I go Observation immediately and try and rush down to improve storage. 10, 15, 20 becomes 45. Which I don't even have, so I couldn't even do that if I wanted to. Uh, instead, I just save up and I go psychology, art of bartering immediately. And especially considering I'm hoping to get a level 4 Beguiler and probably a level 4 Tactician over this course of the run with Bia, I probably go all the way down to Mind Analysis at the very least before ducking back up to go to Improved Cargo at the end of Engineering. The rest of this doesn't really appeal to me right now. So the second island I go to 
usually would be Caribbean just because it resolves aggressive quite well. And there's a secondary boss here that I can always resolve against. Um, the monkey is here, is what I'm talking about, of course. And you resolve aggressive against him, you resolve aggressive against the end boss. You end up with 20 status tokens just from that, as well as two triggers of the Terror of Thessaloniki. There can be a secondary boss in Hungarian Fort. We don't have a diplomat. We have one level of archaeologist, two levels of tactician, one level of uh, quick thinker. You can resolve aggressive in the final encounter. Uh, it's 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 not unheard of. It's definitely not unheard of. There's because I'm tired to resolve aggressive in the final encounter. I don't want to go to the Mali mystery. You can resolve aggressive there, but he gets angry at you. Okay. I think we end up going with the safest option, with this Caribbean island. Unfortunately, you're only a tinkerer, so I can't make you a third level engineer before we leave. So there's no reason to make you a second level engineer, is there? Uh, I mean, you'll probably pick up chemistry on your own. Right? No, I need to take the machete. I definitely need to take the machete. Hopefully I don't get screwed out of the square where the machete is actually important in this area, but I do need to take it. And you need to hold it in general. And then I need to give it to Anna Proskuria Kova immediately before interacting with a certain space. When collect if you resolve aggressive. I mean, that just takes us up to three collect when we resolve aggressive, which is actually not bad. I definitely want to take double lobbyists because I'm getting 20 status tokens. So two lobbyists is between 20 and 40 more status. That doesn't even sound big. I mean, there's going to be more status in the island as well. Uh, we'll also take BG Hunter. We'll upgrade first just to see if there's anything huge here. No, there isn't. Yeah, we'll take BG Hunter. And the next level of lobbyists as well. I feel like that's pretty much objectively correct from my standpoint. I will be moving into the Caribbean island in the next episode. Sorry for this episode taking so long. I, uh... <laughs> I, I had to die in order to realize how to succeed. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Renan Explorers. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. And hopefully we will see you next time.